Well, good afternoon. I think we're ready to get started finally. Welcome to the University of Kansas Student Employee of the Year Award Ceremony. I'm Ann Hartley, and I'm the Associate Director at the University Career Center. I work with student employment on campus, and I'm very excited to be here today at this inaugural event. At KU, we have about 4,800 student employees on campus working in a wide range of jobs in almost every department. Our campus couldn't run without the support of our students in these positions, and we are pleased to recognize a select group of you today. I wanted to find out more about the history of student employment at KU, so I searched through records at Spencer Library. I uncovered some interesting information, mostly from the 1930s during the Depression era. In 1934, KU had a student population of 4,000, and four years of college cost about $1,500. About 45% of students worked through school at that time. And students earned, on average, $15 a month, which was about 30 cents an hour. This rate just about covered their room and board. In 1935, the university received a memo from the Kansas Emergency Relief Committee, which stated that students could be employed on emergency projects. And you remember, this is the Dust Bowl era. And dust had settled into libraries and other college and university equipment, creating an emergency for cleaning and renovating. So according to the memo, student workers could also be used for fire, pestilence, flood, tornado, blizzard, windstorm, as well as dust storm emergencies. And I laughed also because I thought that just about covers about every weather emergency we could possibly have in Kansas. In the University of Kansas, A History by Clifford Griffin, he noted that during the Depression era, the real need for students was just more jobs. And some students were ingenious in finding them. One taught contract bridge to Lawrence Society women at 50 cents a lesson. Another worked as night chief of police. And the third, and this is my favorite, prowled the heat pipe tunnels to collect cockroaches, which he sold to an entomologist in another institution for two cents a piece. <laughs> so, needless to say, we've come a long way in the kind of work students are doing at the university to, to stay in school. And as you know, having a student job can make all the difference for a student to be able to stay in college and finish a degree. And speaking as someone in the career services profession, I also know that having a student job is very important to building your resume, um, building those experiences and skills that you're going to take with you after college into your career. I want to tell you a little bit more about the Student Employee of the Year program. Each year, colleges and, un and universities across the country recognize the importance of the student work experience during National Student Employment Week. This week occurs annually during the second week of April, and the purpose is to draw attention to the contributions student workers make in the many roles they fill. Last spring, we formed a committee to implement a recognition program for outstanding student employees. Many departments already recognize their student employees, but this will be the first campus-wide recognition program we have had at KU. The committee met regularly through the spring and summer to develop a nomination process and plan the awards ceremony. A campus-wide email was sent to encourage supervisors to nominate their student employees through an online nomination form. Nominations were solicited beginning last fall, continuing through January. We also solicited volunteers to help review nominations. In February, the committee, along with volunteers, read all the nominations. We received 45 nominations, and each one was read and scored by three different people. The scores were combined and totaled to select five finalists, one of which will be named the campus winner. As part of this recognition, our campus winner was entered in the regional competition of the Midwest Association of Student Employment Administrators. The Midwest Regional Association selects one winner for each state in our region. And there are four regions in the United States, and each region has 12 or 13 states in them. Each state winner is then considered for the regional selection, 
and regional winners are sent on to the National Student Employment Association to compete for the National Student Employee of the Year. The National Association has been recognizing outstanding student employees since 1995. And I am pleased that now KU will be competing in this recognition program. At this time, I'd like to introduce Chancellor Bernadette, Bernadette Gray Little, who will share a few comments with you. Good afternoon, and thank you, Anne, uh, for the introduction. I'm very pleased to be here for the first ever Student Employee of the Year Award Ceremony. As Anne mentioned, today's ceremony is designed to showcase the contribution that our student employees make to the university and to recognize a select group of those student employees for the outstanding achievement uh, that they've shown throughout the year. There is no question that student employment benefits the ent uh, entire university. Our campus could not run without you. There are a vari wide variety of, of positions that you work in, and as has already been said, you help to keep this place running and to keep it running well. Across the university, you'll find students serving as tutors, as database assistants, as theater technicians, as maintenance workers, fitness trainers, and security monitors, and the list goes on and on. But more important than benefiting the university, student employment also benefits the individual student. A university job can make all the difference for a student who is trying to pay for college and finish a degree. In addition, student jobs are a good way to build skills and experience as an employee, and those skills and experience can benefit you after graduation as you pursue your career. I know firsthand how important a campus job can be as a student. When we were talking about today's event, one of the people in my office said, do you have a funny story that maybe you could tell when you were a student employee? Did you have a job? And I said, well, I did have a job, but there was nothing funny about it. Um, <laughs> And, I, and he thought it was hilarious. I didn't quite mean it uh, like that. I was a, uh, did have a job as a student. I was an assistant in a clinic on campus, and the clinic provided psychological assessments uh, for children with special needs. I didn't do the assessments. I wasn't qualified to do that. But I was very happy to have that position, happy because I needed the money, but also happy because of the experience that it provided me. And so in addition to helping me as a student and helping me financially, it also was a job that was relevant to the career that I eventually pursued. I eventually uh, studied psychology not only as an undergraduate, but as a graduate student and uh, was a professor of psychology. In that experience, working with the families as they brought their children into this setting and being sensitive to the concerns and needs that they had was a very important early lesson for me about working in a setting like this. And so to all the student employees in the room today, whether you realize it or not, your university position can be very helpful to you. And maybe not so much in the specific uh, job that you will do or the specific thing that you will do in your career, but the experience of working with others, being part of a team, and contributing to a larger effort. I want to close by thanking everyone who had a role in making this inaugural ceremony a reality today. And again, thank you to the student employees. Thank you for everything that you do. And best wishes uh, for you as you wrap up a very important part of the semester. Thank you. And now we've asked our student body president, Libby Johnson, to join us and just share a few comments from a student's perspective. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Um, I was very excited to get the chance to uh, speak at this event because I think that being, having the opportunity to work while you are on campus is a very valuable opportunity that not all students get to experience. And, and if you have, then you definitely know what I mean by that. 
Um, being able to work on campus allows students to invest in their university community in a unique way. They do the work that can support the institution and help to move it forward. And they come to understand a particular um, area of the institution very well. I know that um, in my work at the university on campus, um, I have become very connected with the people who I've worked with and really appreciated the chance to understand the intricacies um, of the university and to be able to support KU and become invested in the community. Students who choose to work on campus um, also can continue to make their academics their main focus, which I think is an extremely um, important point that student employment allows students to focus on being students. And um, it is very much a, a different experience um, than trying to work off campus and trying to live two lives at once. Um, and for many, this allows student employment allows them the opportunity to go to school. Um, student employment makes a difference. And for many students, because uh, there are opportunities for working on campus, they're allowed to go to school, allowed to pursue their education, and allowed to, at the same time, develop their professional skills. Um, we have great classrooms, great professors, great academic programs at the university but the student employee experiences um, skills and learns and develops knowledge that will help them in ways that would not be accessible in a classroom. I know that my experience working on campus has been invaluable. Um, it's been an invaluable experience that taught me things that are not academic that will help me in future situations. Um, learned how to work in a professional setting, how to connect with other students, and, I, and to see staff um, firsthand, see what a career would look like in a university setting. Um, through this process, as part of the educational experience, students learn new skills in their on-campus jobs while contributing to the progress of the university. Their investment in the community helps to move the campus forward. And for all of this, um, because of their investment and engagement in the university community, we want to thank student employees today and recognize some of you all who have been the best examples of invested and committed student employees for the time and effort that you have put into this university in each of your unique experiences um, in your on-campus employment. So thank you. Hi. We would now like to recognize all 45 of our nominees and ask that they come up on the stage to receive their certificate and their Jayhawk pin. Please remain on the stage until all nominees have been recognized and we will take a real quick group photo. Please hold your applause until all the students have been recognized. Lindsay Addington. James Baker. Sarah Bazee, Ashley Bennis, Shan Baskar, Robert Britton, Lauren Brown, Charles Burton, Lauren Callahan, Benjamin Cartwright, Zachary Clark, Kyle Consolver, Molly Crouch, Joel Thomas Finney. We'll give them just a minute and we'll call some more names. Cassandra Gentry, 
Michelle Hagen, Hunter Hess, Colby Hilburn, Lauren Hips, Jonan Enoch Johnson, Zach Johnson, Whitney Jones, Christy Campfillet, Emily Knight, Heather Lund, Amanda Mele, Matt Matthew, Sandra Moore, Katherine Nielsen. And we'll get we'll take a little break to get them through all through. Did I miss you? I am so sorry I missed one. David and Aya, I am so sorry for that. <laughs> Davin, and that's what I have here, and I said it wrong, didn't I? Sorry about that. Lucas Knoll, Lauren O'Brien, Lindsay O'Brien, Jasmine Onawa, Goldie Pappen, Kelsey Perez, Jordan Ramey, Autumn Runyon, Monica Saha, Jonathan Samp, Kimberly, I'm sorry, Kimberly Sherman, Adam Smith, Natalie Stroop, Kristen Yaw, and Raymond Zing. And I apologize if I mispronounced any of your names. Let's have a big round of applause for all of our nominees. get a good enough shot. Can you get them all in? Okay. Smile everybody. I know. Okay, we are now going to recognize each of our five finalists, and we'll do this in alphabetical order. And I want um, that student and their supervisor come to the 
stage when I call the student's name. The student supervisors would each like to say a few words about the students that they nominated. Let's have Lindsay Addington. She was nominated by Alexander Moise in the Pharmacology and Toxicology School. Um, I don't think I could have reflected in this uh, nomination the enormous contribution that Lindsay has made to the research in my lab. I'm a professor in the School of Pharmacy. Lindsay, one of the students in the School of Pharmacy, one of the top students in the School of Pharmacy, um, has joined my lab in August of 2009. And during this time, she's made um, a huge impact on just the daily running of my, of my lab. She has a natural ability to troubleshoot, to fix problems. She comes in dedicated. She keeps track of everything. Um, I, I have not seen postdocs or graduate students that match this kind of dedication or level of competence. We're very impressive. To tell you what Lindsay is not, I'll give you an example of a student employee that started some years ago and in the first day on a job burned the entire lab bench and ended up without any eyebrows. That student <laughs> for six months. Well, the students grew up. Uh, the eyebrows grew back. That's me. Um, I ended up... Uh, so I can guarantee that Lindsay will go very, very far, and she will have eyebrows. So <laughs> thank you. OK, our next finalist is Cassandra Gentry, who was nominated by Rob Hillman in the Lifespan Institute. If you'd like to come up. My name is Rob Heinelman, and I manage the front office of the Lifespan Institute. Um, more, more accurately, I manage the front office along with Cassie Gentry, our office assistant. Cassie came to the Lifespan Institute in December 2007 and quickly became an indispensable and integral part of the Institute. While many of her duties could be considered typical of a student office assistant, such as filing, maintaining contact lists, sorting mail, and so on, the fact that we're the largest research unit at KU with over 400 employees can make even these straightforward tasks challenging. Cassie contributes to the success of Lifespan with her intelligence, discretion, reliability, professionalism, and ability to work independently. We're a fast-paced environment, demanding complex thinking and problem-solving abilities. Cassie's adept and thorough at everything she does. She gives a new meaning to the word speedy. She takes ownership of tasks, large and small, and goes above and beyond on a daily basis. Lifespan is a highly diverse work workplace with constantly changing needs and challenges. And Cassie deals with all players and situations with grace and a cheerful attitude that's contagious. She's thoughtful, patient, tolerant, and embraces diversity. And she's saved my neck more often than I care to think about. Um, in addition to her position at Lifespan, Cassie's in the Honors Program, has mentored special needs youth, and, and has volunteered at Lawrence Memorial Hospital. This time last year, we were living in fear of Cassie's impending departure as she was due to graduate. Then she decided to change her major, and we were thrilled and relieved that she'd be with <laughs> us another year. Um, Cassie has the determination, passion, and intelligence to excel in any endeavor. I'm pleased that she's pursuing teaching as her career path, for she genuinely believes education is a key to a brighter future for the world. Her future students will be lucky to have her as a teacher, and I have no doubt that Cassie will inspire them to make the world a better place. The Lifespan Institute is truly lucky to have her on our staff, and I'm grateful for this opportunity to say thank you, Cassie. Um, how about Zach Johnson, who was nominated by Claudia Dozier in the Applied Behavior Science?
I can't tell you how pleased I am that Zach's been chosen as one of the finalists for the Student Employee of the Year Award. Uh, Zach's academic abilities absolutely speak for themselves with his impressive GPA while majoring in both psychology and applied behavioral science. In addition, to Zach, Zach, he, in addition to that, Zach's been one of those students that seeks out additional opportunities and experiences in his areas of study. He's worked in my research lab as an undergraduate research assistant and completed several semesters of practicum experience in our early childhood classrooms in the on-campus Edna A. Hill Child Development Center. It was his remarkable skill set and leadership abilities and his practicum experience that led me to ask him to apply for a position in the Child Development Center as a supervisor and a lead teacher, which doesn't really ever happen at the undergraduate level. In this role, Zach supervises four um, undergraduate student teachers who work in our early childhood classrooms, and Zach has absolutely exceeded my expectations. He's well liked by his peers, which by the way are all graduate students his supervisees and his administrative supervisors, but most importantly, he's loved by the children that he teaches. He's a remarkable problem solver, constantly comes up with ideas to make things more efficient and effective. He's extremely creative and he's always willing to go the extra mile. It's been my absolute pleasure to have worked with Zach over the past couple of years and I'll be sad to see him graduate, although I know he's ready. Um, he's accepted an offer from Teach for America and will be joining that prestigious organization as an early childhood teacher in the Memphis, Tennessee area. They are extremely lucky to have them. He will be very missed in our department. Congratulations, Zach. Okay, how about Christy Campfillet, and who was nominated by Natasha Beeser in the Journalism School. I really can't say enough about Christy. This is actually the first year I've had the opportunity to work with her, and as a sophomore, I'm thrilled that she'll be back, but I can also say that if she were graduating, I would be doing everything in my power to try to keep her on as a permanent staff member. Um, she is a phenomenal individual in terms of her work ethic, but also just she comes in every day. And I've been actually on maternity leave for the last couple months, and I truly feel like she has been an integral part in keeping the communications coordination of the journalism school moving while I have been away and she's also a phenomenal writer. We send out a magazine every semester that requires an incredible amount of time and I've handed over more than uh, I probably should have to Christy this semester and I put a lot on her shoulders and she came through with, fi with flying colors and that tends to be just what she does in general. So I, again, I can't say enough about her. She's, uh, she's a gem to work with, so. And our last finalist, Adam Smith, who was nominated by Kelly Nichols at the University Advising Center. I too have been on maternity leave, so I'm sensing a theme here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what prompted Adam to apply for our peer advisor position with the University Advising Center um, three years ago, but I am certainly very glad that he did. Adam has served as a summer peer advisor for the University Advising Center for the past three summers, um, assisting hundreds if not thousands of students at, with the advising and enrollment portions of over 50 orientation sessions in his career. Um, he's worked with the UAC as an academic year peer advisor, assisting over 375 current KU students who come in with a variety of academic questions and concerns. And he's answered more phone calls than I care to imagine. Um, currently, he's also serving as the pre-law and Mount Oread Scholar student assistant. You'll notice a theme. We like him. We keep finding more for him to do. Um, he's been instrumental in the registration of record numbers of Mount Oread Scholars as part of that program. From day one, Adam has shown an excellent work ethic, initiative, professionalism, and customer service. In his first summer as a peer advisor, he was voted most outstanding peer advisor of the summer by his colleagues and professional staff that he worked with. 
As he's gained more experience, he's taken on additional responsibilities, including creating the peer advisor training notebook um, and training and mentoring several other new peer advisors. The supervisory meetings that Adam and I have um, have become mutually beneficial brainstorming sessions. Um, we've come up with some pretty exciting ideas, and some of those are even coming to fruition, which is very fun. With Mount Oread Scholars, Adam really took the lead in developing the first ever Mount Oread Scholars Student Advisory Board. His creativity, initiative, and determination have helped create a portion of that program that will live on for years to come. Our student employees in the UAC are vitally important to what we do. Um, they're often the first face or first voice that students encounter. As a peer advisor, Adam works with students experiencing a variety of emotions and challenges. He provides the service, compassion, and quality advising information that's essential for that position. He's a valued member of our staff and someone we're proud to have representing our office. While working in roles like that of a peer advisor, it's also important that our student employees excel in the classroom, and Adam does just that. He's graduating this May with um, a Bachelor of Science in Atmospheric Science and will attend graduate school in the fall to study higher education and student affairs, a passion that he developed as a student employee in the UAC. So we've converted him. Um, Adam, you've made a lasting impression at the UAC. We thank you for all that you do. Thank you for making our jobs easier and my job so much fun. And our winner of the Student Employee of the Year is Adam Smith. Please come on back to the stage. Do you want to hand me the plaque? Yeah, I'll give you the plaque. We have an actual check for him for $500, but this is a replication. It will be added to his uh, account. And we also have a plaque for him. And, well, before you leave the stage, one, one final little surprise. In the welcome, I mentioned that we submit our campus winner to the Midwest region. And we got notified um, in March that congratulations, um, your campus winner, Adam, has been selected as Student Employee of the Year for the state of Kansas from our region. I think that's great because this is our first year in the whole program and we have a, a letter and a certificate and they've sent a check for $75. So. <laughs> congratulations, Adam. So, congratulations to each of our student nominees, our five finalists, and our winner. You all make KU a very special place to work and we thank each and every one of you. And in closing, I finally, I can't, we can't leave today without recognizing the Student Employee of the Year committee members. They are listed on the back of the program. I just kind of want them to stand up and be recognized. It's Mike Broadwell, Cindy Hurst, Teresa Cranber, Keith Lake, Andrew Lee, Kemi Ob Obadari, Christy Spellman, and Cheryl Wiley. If you could stand up and be recognized, thanks so much. Um, you can imagine how interesting it is to start a program from scratch and each and every one of them contributed so many great ideas as well as their time and energy to, to planning this and putting this together. And in addition to that, the departments that they're from each also contributed financially to helping make this program run. So we are very, very grateful and um, I really appreciate everything everybody's done to make this, this so successful. So this concludes our program today. I would like to ask you all to please join us across the hall for um, refreshments in the Big 12 room for our reception. We'd love to get together and visit with you. And thank you very much for attending today.